My name is Raya Jolinska, and today I'll be interviewing Paul Grodd, the first alum of the SUSC alumni video series. Good morning and welcome. Thank you for taking the time uh, out of your busy schedule to speak with me. I'll be asking a few questions and I'm looking forward to hearing your story. First, uh, can you tell us about where you went to university and what you studied? Well, first off, uh, pleasure to participate in this and uh, congratulations, Raya, to you and the SUSC team for taking this initiative. I think this is very important to engage alumni. And uh, as the alumni director, uh, great to see this level of engagement. So, so thank you for doing this uh, and, and, and great work. Uh, in terms of where I went to university, um, I went to three universities. I have three degrees. I have a bachelor in political science, a master's of business administration and a bachelor of law degree. Uh, so my universities were the University of Toronto, uh, where I was president of the uh, USO at U of T. Uh, it was the University of Windsor, uh, where I actually started a USO, um, and then uh, University of Western Ontario. Uh, and so those are the three universities that I, uh, that I attended. Thanks. Uh, what was your involvement in SUSC and or your USO? So I got involved in my uh, USO at the University of Toronto early on. Uh, the uh, USO in Toronto was uh, uh, quite, a, quite a fun club. Uh, there were, if I recall, uh, well over 200 members and uh, it, there was a lot of social activity. And so it was a lot of fun to join. So when I first got to U of T, you know, one of the first events uh, was a pub night uh, that was organized at uh, I think St. Vlad's uh, in Toronto. And that's where I got introduced to the Ukrainian Canadian Students Union or to the USO at U of T. And uh, just really got intrigued with all the activities that were going on. And um, it was just a fun place to be. And it was a great place to uh, spend time with and get to know more Ukrainian students on campus. And uh, we started to become more active. We were very active socially, uh, but also very active, what I'd call politically. And uh, we would do things like Ukrainian week on campus. And uh, this is, uh, thinking about it, this is 1990, 91, 92. So, uh, Ukraine is on the brink of becoming an independent country and so there's a lot of information that we were sharing a lot of information that today we take for granted uh, like people didn't know about Holodomor people didn't know about the first world war internment operations people didn't know about uh, about where Ukraine was uh, and we were we took it upon ourselves not just to um, uh, educate other Ukrainians on campus because Often, you know, we, we take for granted, many of us, uh, I grew up in, in Sum, um, I know you grew up in Plast and uh, went to Ukrainian school. And so a lot of things that sometimes we take for granted, most other Ukrainian Canadian students just don't know. They didn't have the benefit of, of going to Ukrainian school or Ukrainian youth organization. So this is an opportunity to educate a Ukrainian Canadian students on campus, but most importantly was to educate uh, our, our, our fellow students about these issues because they had no clue about them. And so we took a, a really active role in, in, in education. So I, I got involved and became president of the USO and I was president for a couple of years um, at uh, U of T before I, uh, I became president of, uh, of SUSC. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question is, what is your current occupation? So my current occupation is I'm a lawyer by profession. Uh, and I started uh, my, my background after I graduated with my law MBA was uh, working as an investment banker with CABC World Markets. Then I worked as a, as a lawyer on Bay Street, a big, uh, big national law firm. And uh, I decided that uh, I wanted to uh, start my own business. And I started a company called Rodan Energy about 17 years ago. And so today I'm an entrepreneur. I'm CEO and president of Rodan Energy. We're a North American energy management company. Today uh, we have about 100 employees uh, across North America and we continue to grow. And it's uh, an exciting business. And I have to say that, uh, you know, a lot of the things that uh, allows me to be a successful uh, business owner and operator as CEO, uh, I learned through a series of career progressions and my community activity. I've always been heavily involved in the Ukrainian community, whether it was through SOM or whether it was through a USO or SUSC uh, or other organizations like the Ukrainian Canadian Congress where I was past president and today president of the Ukrainian 
World Congress. Uh, these are all building blocks uh, that uh, we continue to develop. And that's, I think, a really important message uh, that I'd like to deliver to, uh, to the students who are involved in SUSC today is that you're in the right spot. I mean, you're gain gaining experience that many other students will never have this opportunity. And it'll certainly, it may not feel like it today, but you'll look back and you'll say, you know what, the, those skills that I learned, uh, sometimes the hard way, um, trying to figure things out, being well organized, being a leader, uh, those are things that really make a huge difference to you as uh, in your career, in your profession. Very interesting, definitely a good tip. Um, so next question is, how do you think SUSC could help you in advance your career or personal development? I understand that you have someone into that already. Well, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll expand on that, uh, Raya, and um, I'll start with this. Uh, as, as SUSC president, I got involved uh, with uh, an international Ukrainian organization called CESUS, which is Centralny Suyuz Ukrainsko Studentstvo. This is a worldwide student organization that since has been defunct, uh, but worth looking at potentially rejuvenating. And I got to meet students from all over the world, from the United States, from Europe. And for the first time, because Ukraine be just became independent, we brought in the Ukrainian student organizations from Ukraine. And so the network that I was able to build is still very much alive today. The, net, the network that I have today is global. And uh, I've met that through SUSC and through my engagement. Uh, and again, it's global, it's national, it's local. And, um, and uh, it just gives you that opportunity to build a strong network. And that network um, is, is helpful from all kinds of very, whether it's life um, uh, or whether it's career, uh, knowing people on different uh, faculties in life, whether it's in healthcare, finance, I mean, you, you name it. Um, and, and building that work, network is important because today I draw upon a lot of those people that I've gotten to know and trust as a, as a student leader uh, to be involved, whether it's even in my business or whether it's, ass it's assisting me in community work that I do. Uh, so I would, number one, say network. Number two, I would say leadership. Um, because, because again, it forced me to be able to get up in front of a large audience and deliver uh, a message. And uh, whether we were organizing a big event on campus uh, where we invited the president of the university and invited the ambassador of Ukraine and did some sort of a big event, all of a sudden you had to learn how to speak publicly and nobody was teaching you. You were kind of going through it and uh, learning the hard way. But you know what? It gave me the, uh, uh, the, the, the ability to continue to do that, which again has, has helped in the career way as well. Uh, organizational skills, you know, be, being able to multitask. I mean, you're, you, you, you'll be amazed in the career, in the, in, the, in, the, in the professional world, how many people just have trouble multitasking and prioritizing. And here you are juggling uh, activities on campus, various student events, various uh, active events, whether you're helping with networking and mentorship or political action or whatever it may be, you still have to study and you still have to get good grades because hopefully you want to go to grad school, whatever it is. And it teaches you how to prioritize and how to, and how to be efficient with, with your time and also to think out of the box. So, I mean, organizational skills are also very important. And, and finally, I'll say that, you know, it's, it's important to give back and, and being involved with SUSC and the USOs has taught me the importance of giving back, which I still feel very strongly about today. You know, teaching you how to make a difference uh, to Ukraine and to the Ukrainian community at a young age, because I believe that, you know, back, and again, not to tell too many stories in the history, but again, uh, these were the early 90s. Ukraine just became independent. And uh, things like we take for granted in Ukraine today, like democracy, like the rule of law, uh, which is still far from perfect, uh, but uh, uh, we uh, organized with our fellow students in Ukraine, uh, 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 election uh, observation missions and uh, things like uh, ensuring that youth got out to vote in Ukraine uh, because it was a real cynical attitude. So, you know, feel that you can actually make a difference uh, uh, even at a young age in terms of what's happening globally, what's happening locally. Okay, thank you. Um, and then lastly, do you have any uh, additional tips that can be related to SUSC um, or Ukrainian community or just general career tips? So I'll say that uh, first off, in terms of your involvement in the Ukrainian community uh, and in SUSC or your USO, you're going to get as much out of it as you put into it. 
I mean, it, yeah, I'm sure you, you've all heard that before, but it's true. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're involved, you're getting to know people, you're developing a strong network, um, and, uh, and, and you're developing a reputation. And that's something that will follow you for the, for the rest of your life. You have the ability to make a difference. Uh, and that's really important. I mean, it's, it, when you look at what, what's, what, what do you want to accomplish in life? Uh, yeah, you want to have a great career. You want to make lots of money. You want to have a great family. But you also want to make a difference in this world. And, and this is where you actually have an opportunity today to make a serious uh, in, uh, um, impact. It allows you to think globally. So, so do think globally. Don't think about just what's happening in your town, in your city. Think about what and the international network that you can tap in through through SUSC, through the Ukrainian Canadian Congress, through the Ukrainian World Congress. And uh, the other thing I'll say is that uh, when you're looking to have support from others, um, whether it's advice, career opportunities, people want to help people who make a difference. And again, it comes down to, if I know that somebody's involved in SUSC or USO or the Ukrainian community, and they come to me for whether it's career advice, whether they're looking for work, whether they're looking for some opportunities, you know, I'll always give them the time of day because I respect people who uh, try to make a difference and try to help others. And then finally, my, my tip would be that uh, your career, look at it as uh, uh, you're building a, a set of tools. And just think about everything that you do, every experience that you are able to um, take advantage, you're adding another tool into your toolbox. And I look at the tools that I have in my toolbox today, whether it's organizational skills, whether it's my legal background, my finance background, my organizational capability, my leadership skills, those are all coming into play today as I continue to grow and build my business, number one. But number two, in terms of the political activity that I'm involved with, the fact that, uh, you know, because of my organizational capabilities and what we're dealing with the Ukrainian Canadian Congress, uh, I was recognized uh, in Canada uh, as one of the top 100 people influencing Canada's global future. And again, I, I attribute that to a lot of stuff that I've learned in, in SUSC and the things that I've learned and developed in the Ukrainian Canadian Congress. And I'm doing that today. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm able to pick up the phone and call some of the most senior leaders uh, in Canada, globally, in Ukraine. And again, that comes down to being able to make, make always making a difference and building that, that career toolbox. So whether it's for your, your business and professional career or whether it's for your community impact. Uh, all those are, are, are important. So, uh, you know, continue to look at every stage of your life as a learning opportunity. And if you stop learning, it's time to do something different. Exactly. Well, thank you. I really enjoyed hearing about everything you had to say, and uh, I'm sure other students will as well. Slava Kuini. Heroim Slava. Heroim Slava. And one last thing before I wrap up, I also want to encourage uh, my fellow alumni uh, to, to give back to SUSC. Uh, I'm sure many of you have got a lot out of SUSC. Uh, I know many of you who have been very successful in your professional, in your business, in your political careers. Um, and I would really ask that you give, give to SUSC. And uh, the SUSC endowment is a very important cause. Um, myself and my wife, Adriana, who's also heavily involved in the USO and SUSC, we've made a major contribution to the endowment and we encourage others to do so because this is SUSC and the USOs are an opportunity to really uh, develop uh, leaders in our community. Uh, they're the people who will be the activists and SUSC and the USOs are the uh, catch-all. They're the network that's going to grab all the Ukrainians on campus and bring them together and make sure that they stay Ukrainian. So um, please do give. It's a very important cause and uh, I support them wholeheartedly. So, um, <clears throat> Raya, keep up the great work that you're doing, and congratulations, and uh, I hope uh, you continue on this trajectory because SUSC has an important role to play uh, in, in our community. So thank you for what you're doing. Thank you.